Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. It's the first video of 2023. And for those of you who watched, I think the last video of 2022, which was Learn the Guitar with Jules, you may have guessed, as I'm holding said instrument, that today is lesson two in Learn the Guitar with Jules. Now, I hope you've watched uh, lesson one, and I hope you've been practicing some of the things that we learned in lesson one. Now, one of the things we learned was how to use uh, this particular bad boy, uh, which is a tuner for the guitar. So we've tuned our guitar and we've practiced tuning our guitar. And we also learned um, about these little beasties, which we called, um, well, not just we, I mean, they are generally called plectrums. So if you remember, you learned about what the plectrum was and how it was to be used. So lesson two is going to be about what are the names of the various bits of the guitar. Now we're going to start with this bit here, you see. Um, some of us call this the long bit. You may, you may call it something else, but I'm going to give you the proper word for it, and that is neck. Okay, you might want to watch, you might want to uh, write these down. Neck, that's N-E-C-K. I'm afraid I don't know what it is uh, in other languages, but uh, I'm sure you can Google Translate it and you'll be able to find out. So if you don't speak English, uh, what I suggest you do uh, is Google Translate, although of course you won't be able to do that because you won't understand what I'm saying. But if you use your phone, you can Google Translate and it'll do it. And it'll, it'll do a sort, it'll do a kind of, shall I say that again? It'll do a kind of interpret as I'm going on. So this, this long bit here is the neck. Okay, now these things that you see going across the neck, you see you know, these, are, these are painted white and, and we call them frets. That's uh, F-R-E-T-S, uh, I, I think. And if you, have, if you have like a salad, you may be familiar with the creme frets. That's a, a kind of uh, condiment that you put on your salad. Very tasty, very tasty. Now these uh, kind of diamond shape things here. You see there's a kind of diamond there and there's a mounting there and down here there's a club and a spade. We call those cards. We call them playing cards. Not quite sure why but we do. Now up here, this part of the guitar here, um, we call these we call these things here. Do you see these kind of silver things? We call them knobs. Okay, knobs. That's uh, N-O-B-S if you want to Google Translate. That's knobs. Uh, not K-N-O-B-S by the way. That's something else. And these things here we see, which we see running along you see them running along the neck? They're actually called strings. Now, it's not actually made of strings, and this gets a little bit complicated. These are actually made of wire. And because they're made of wire, they're actually really quite hard uh, to press. So when we get to about lesson, I don't know, 17 or something, and we start to press these bits of wire, you'll find out what I mean. Now, let's move down uh, to this part of the guitar, you see this part of the guitar, you see I'm going around in kind of an oval shape, uh, we call this a body, okay, that's body as in B-O-D-Y, that's the body of the guitar, and this bit that we see in the middle, you see this round bit here, and uh, we call that, well it made a sound there, I wasn't supposed to do that until lesson 17, but if we go see this round bit here in the middle, we call that a hole, okay, that's H-O-L-E, now you may have heard uh, you may have heard of black holes uh, in the universe. Now, there were some primitive uh, people uh, from, from Norfolk used to believe that the black hole of the universe was actually uh, millions and billions of guitars, okay, and that all of the matter of the universe disappeared into these black holes. Do you see what I mean? Now, it's very strange why uh, people in Norfolk should have believed that, but they did. We now know... Uh, that black holes are something completely different, which I don't understand. But if you've read your Stephen Hawking, A Brief History of Time, uh, which I read in a very short period of time, uh, you wouldn't have understood it either. Now this, um, this bit here, you see this bit which is on the front of the body, uh, we call that the front of the body of the guitar. Okay, so the front of the body of the guitar. Now, if you look here at the back, can you see that? Um, forget about that noise, not sure what that was. It may have been something falling down inside the guitar. But you see that, what we call, that's what we call the back of the guitar. And it's very important that if you, 
uh, if you hold the guitar like this and, and you try and make a sound, it won't work, okay? Because the front of the guitar, that's this bit here, this is the front of the guitar, and this is where we make the sound. So let's go over that again, because it's a quite important thing to learn in lesson two. The back of the guitar, you won't get sound out of the back of the guitar, well, you will if you've got something inside it which falls down, like mine just did, but you have to play the front of the guitar uh, like that. Now, the other things that we need to know about the guitar, this thing here, Right. This is called a hand, by the way, and it's on the end of my arm. And this is not part of the guitar, by the way. This is part of me. And this thing here, uh, which is also a hand on the end of a, a, an arm, this happens to be my right arm, uh, is also not part of the guitar. These are the two things, well, not my arms, actually, uh, but the, the hands, okay, these are the hands. This is the left hand here, this is the right hand. If you're looking at the video, you need to reverse them. Or if you're looking at the video in a mirror, you need to turn it upside down. Or if you're on a plane, on the phone, and perhaps if you're on a plane, uh, and you're flying through the southern hemisphere, all right, you need to put it in a mirror uh, so it turns around left to right and upside down and you get it backwards because then you'll be able to see it properly. So I'm playing the guitar, will be playing the guitar in lesson 17 with my left hand partly and with my right hand partly as well. Now, it is important to remember that you may struggle uh, if you haven't got two hands or two arms uh, to play the guitar. Now, you may know uh, there used to be a uh, popular uh, kind of folk group called Iron Maiden. And one of Iron Maiden's big, big things is that they had a drummer who had one arm. And he was able to play the drums. He was a really good drummer, but he only had that one arm. Now, they then had a number of tribute bands. Uh, there was one called Steel Maiden. And they couldn't find uh, a one-armed drummer, but they did manage to find a one-armed bass player. So they were quite successful. Then there was another uh, uh, tribute band. This one was called Tin, Tin Maiden. And they couldn't find a one-armed drummer or a one-armed bass player, but they did manage to find a one-armed lead singer. And he was very popular as well. There was then another ladies version, very popular, uh, and they were called Maiden Ladies. And they managed to find a guitarist with only one arm, and she was brilliant. I'd like to say that she had watched all of my lessons, learned guitar with Jules, and she was a brilliant guitarist, far, far better than I am. And in fact, you can search YouTube and you'll find her videos. Don't watch them, of course, because you need to learn guitar with me, because you need to take your time, and you need to do it gradually, uh, because we don't want to get there too quickly. We don't want to be able to play a song uh, too quickly. It's very important that you, you pace yourself, you don't get to the finish line too soon. If you take it, if you take it gradually, if you allow things to, to build up, if you allow the kind of excitement to build, then once you get to the end and you've actually played uh, those first series of notes and put together what we call a song, um, then you, the sense of achievement will overwhelm you and it'll be something really wonderful. So there we are. That's lesson two uh, in Learn Guitar with Jules. And lesson three, uh, you won't be surprised to learn, is going to be the third lesson uh, in the series. And make sure you tune in for that so you can learn what happens in lesson three. In the meantime, I'd like to wish you a very happy new year for 2023 and uh, lots more videos to come if I can think of anything to say. And thanks for watching. See you next time.